In this video, I'm gonna show you a strategy you can use to gain more range of motion during your back bends and bridge stretches. The flexibility guy, Cortelia. Shin's Wall, so it's like, yo guys, I'm uh, the flexibility guy, Coach Elia, and today I'm with Viola here because together we're going to demonstrate how to use a strategy, a simple strategy, to increase the stretch during your back bends and bridge stretches, all right? But since we'll be talking about bridges, all right, there's the book for you. If you want to learn the bridge, this is the book that you want to read, Shoulders Range, my complete playbook to master your upper body flexibility and the bridge. Plenty of exercises here, all right, to master the bridge and your shoulders flexibility. You can check it out following the link in the description down below. Now, with that said, let's start. All right, guys, so to perform this strategy, you need a pair at least of yoga blocks I have here, but now I'm gonna use four yoga blocks because I do wanna show you, because I do wanna give you a sense of progression here, all right? Now, I got some yoga blocks there with some weights in front of that because I do want to make sure that these can't slide all right if you got a wall you can put the yoga blocks against the wall but also if you got kind of a support or something like that a little box or something you can use that as well all right now Viola is going to demonstrate here we have to use something under the feet to make the exercise easier and why do I say that the exercise gets easier here by using a height under the feet. Now, let's see that. So you go out, you, you press up into a bridge. Of course, you gotta be able to do this, all right? With good shoulders flexibility and thoracic flexibility. If you can't do that, yeah, don't worry. You got plenty of exercise to work with on my channel. Now, look at this. Now, we want to focus on the hips because here's the difference. Now, Viola is going to put one foot on the floor. All right, on the floor. You got the force on the floor. Can you see this angle? Now, she wanna come back on the block. Mm -hmm. Now, look at this angle. It's different. Why is it different? Because when she has the leg on the floor, this angle here is going to increase. When she has this leg on the yoga block instead, this angle is going to decrease. So the stretch will be less on the hips, and a little more on the shoulders, if she wants. But if you just keep your feet on the floor or on the yoga block, the main difference is that this angle here, the angle on the hips will be easier, will be, the stretch on the hips will be easier as you are on the blocks. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, so this is the main difference between a feet elevated bridge and a bridge with the um, feet on the floor, all right? So when you are in a feet elevated bridge, all right, your hips will stay a little higher, your feet will stay a little higher, all right? And the angle in your hips will be kind of flat, a little flatter, let's just say that, all right? So it's gonna be easier for your hips to go into the stretch. Now, we're going to do something like this. So this is going to help you understand what I'm talking about. Rather than using this height, so a couple of yoga blocks, I'm gonna use only a pair of yoga blocks. This is going to intensify the stretch because the hips will go into a deeper stretch, all right? So again, feet on the yoga blocks again. Now, can you see it's much lower? Right? So, hands on the floor, you wanna push up into a bridge. Now look at this angle here again. You remember the angle during the previous variation. Look, compare by yourself. Can you see this angle? So your hips have to go into a deeper stretch as you are here because your feet are lower compared to the other variation. All right? All right, perfect. And thanks to that, the higher you put your feet, the easier the exercise gets. Now let's see, of course, last variation, no blocks. So you can really see the, the difference here. So if we don't use the blocks, look at the angle in the hip area, all right? So we go into a bridge, what happens is that, can you see this cl really closed angle? Can you see that? 
Can you see that? There's a huge arch and the hips have to go into a much deeper stretch. All right? All right, Viola, thank you so much. So that angle there with the feet on the floor is kind of a really, really, really close. All right? So the hips go into a deeper stretch. When you perform the bridge with your feet on the blocks, you can focus more on your shoulders. And why am I saying this? I'm saying this because when you have your hips higher and they are under a less amount of stretch, of course, that less amount of stretch you got, you can use it to stretch more your shoulders, all right? So, think about that as an elastic band. If you pull that elastic band from both sides, so as in a bridge on the floor, you're not gonna be able to focus on both the sides because both the sides pull your body, right? But if you decrease the stretch on one side, then you can stretch more the other side. Am I right? So this is exactly the same concept. Imagine there's an elastic band, all right? And now here we're pulling less on one side. We can stretch more the other side, which is exactly what happens here. Look, when she goes into the stretch, now here she can straighten her legs and just go more into the stretch by opening the shoulders more. So as you perform the stretch, you're gonna feel that you gotta, you, you can go into a deeper stretch with your shoulders. So your shoulders will go into a much harder, more intense stretch, all right? Because your hips won't pull that much as in a floor bridge. All right, thank you so much, Viola. So this is the concept behind the feet elevated bridge, which, in my opinion, is one of, really one of the best progressions to walk toward your bridge. Now, guys, you gotta choose the correct height, all right? So start with something high. Now, usually, what I suggest doing is this. The max height you want to use is the height of your kind of shin bone. So put your, put your leg like this. The height of your knee here is the max height you can use. So maybe a chair, a box, a stool bar, something like that, where you can push your feet at this height, all right? They want to decrease that height. Can you say like this is something not that high, you can use something in between, uh, like here, or yeah, yeah, you can play with it. Uh, it, it, it entirely depends on your level of flexibility. The rule here is this, the higher the support, the easier the stretch on your hips, and the better you can focus on your shoulders. But of course, if you want to achieve the bridge with your feet on the floor, which is equally important for your shoulders flexibility, don't get me wrong, because also the bridge stretch on the floor is good for your shoulders flexibility, then you want to decrease the height with time and focus on that part as well. So remember, Take your time, walk on, like what I strongly suggest doing also here is walking on more variations. So for example, you want to perform three sets. First set with your feet on something really high. Second set with your feet on something kind of uh, intermediate. Third and last set, feet on the floor. If you can't manage the progression with your feet on the floor, just repeat the same concept but on the blocks. Start with, with something really high, then decrease it a little bit, then decrease it a little bit again. Or maybe just do a couple of sets with something higher and then on the last one, decrease it, all right? That's the main idea. Don't walk all, only on one variation. There's a variation that helps you get to the point of the bridge stretch on the floor. All right, guys? So, at this point, I hope that everything is clear for this progression here. An excellent one you can use for your bridge and shoulders flexibility. If you got any questions or doubts, leave a comment down below because I'll be really happy to have a chat with you and to talk about this wonderful exercise. If you enjoyed the content, leave a thumb up. It's free only if you enjoy the content though, all right? That's all from the Flexibility Guy and Viola. See you in the next video. Bye.